let's talk about sex. No, not the salt and pepper song, but the American presidential campaign. It's been at the front and center in the run-up to the November 8th vote, ever since Republican candidate Donald Trump was caught off guard by Megyn Kelly's primary debate question about his level of respect for women. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only has Rosie several... O'Donnell. No, it wasn't. Only down from here. Trump responded days later to suggest Kelly was on her period at the time. It was just the beginning of a long list of faux pas, fat shaming a former Miss Universe, face shaming a fellow presidential candidate. But then things took a turn for the sinister. A lewd conversation with Billy Bush surfaces, catching Trump saying he can do anything to women, thanks to his stardom. It triggered widespread outrage when the video leaked. But it also opened the floodgates for women to come forward from as far back as 1970 and as far forward as December 16th, when he will stand trial for allegedly raping a 13-year-old girl. Trump denies the allegations. The stories are total fiction. They're 100% made up. They never happened. Trump's campaign tactic? To deflect criticism onto rival Hillary Clinton, or rather, her husband Bill, who infamously cheated on Hillary during his presidency. But that's not what's really plaguing the Clinton campaign. A recent FBI investigation into former Congressman Anthony Weiner, who's recently become estranged from his wife, Clinton aide Huma Abedin, over allegedly sexting a minor, has incidentally revealed emails that may or may not relate to Hillary's own email server scandal. These new emails may or may not be significant, and we probably won't know till after the election. But the disruption to the Clinton campaign has been achieved, and some will argue also marks the lowest point of the 2016 presidential race. Gabrielle Weiniger, I24 News.